What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo. This is episode 37 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We have just defeated Guzma. Again, he was, despite having battled him like 30 minutes ago already, he was like twice as strong, which, you know, makes sense. So we, uh, we have been led to believe that now we are going to go see Lusamine, someone who we once thought was a good person, but now we think is a bad person. So we're just looking around here to see if there's any items. Uh, no items, but there is a strange creature, which we're going to suck into our cube. That sounds dirty. Let's go, <laughs> let's go through this door right in front of us. Oh, it's a very nice little... Got some flowers around here, you know? Mm-hmm. I probably shouldn't be check. Yes! Another I was about to say, I probably shouldn't be checking around here so much, but then I saw another strange creature to suck into the Zygarde cube. Oh, we fancy now. But look at this girl. She looks just like Lusamine. Oh. Ah, Geo, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You, you came. You actually came to help me, Geo. Thank you, thank you. What? What do you think? So you know one another. A gifted young trainer like Geo, and he bothers with someone like you? Wow, Lucy, I mean, how disappointing. I don't need your approval, mother. <laughs> or your permission. I will save Cosmon. My, you do such incomprehensible things. Calling me mother. I don't have any children. Shut up, Lucy, I mean. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off with and, re and reject my love. My goodness. So tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, Lily? You failed to convince me to listen to you. You don't have the strength of a trainer. The only thing that you've ever done on your own is steal someone else's research material. You're not beautiful enough for my world, but fine. <laughs> you can watch me summon my sweet beast, and then you can leave. I'm not being foolish or selfish. I'm asking you to listen, mother. Do not sacrifice Cosmog for that beast's sake. If you open the Ultra Wormhole, Cosmog will Cosmog will die. You're right. It probably will die. Because I'm going to force it to use its power whether it wants to or not. Oh my god. Oh, we got a little warp pad here. You guys like how I turned the can sideways so you couldn't see the symbol on the front? You can still probably figure out what it is, but... That's like how I'm doing it. So I'm not advertising for them. Geo, I really am happy that you came after me, but, but, but I have to be selfish again. I have to ask you one more time. Please, please help Nebby. Help Nebby. We have to save Nebby. <sighs> Zoinks! Go after Lusamine like yesterday. What? <laughs> Go after... Wait. Like tomorrow? Is tomorrow is after today, so go after her like tomorrow. Well, what is this place? Exclamation mark, she says. Hurry, this way. I would mess with Lucy, I mean. That long hair. Look at that. She cryogenically froze a slowpoke? It's a private collection. My precious babies. They will all be preserved for eternity here. Why does everyone love Slowpoke on this island? Pukumuku and a Pikachu. But my poor beast, what confusion, what rage must it feel arriving in this strange world? It would not right to confine it feelings with such small cases as these ones it will need to express itself blah 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 i think i will let it express its fury upon the alola region as well hey how is here too and he's all confused whoa geo <laughs> hey how <laughs> over here <laughs> whoa and lily man am i glad to see you're okay ah sweet how so you came too hmm. and gladian must you be so untidy Oh, is is Gladian his is her son too? 
You mustn't open the ultra wormhole. You cannot let beasts run wild. Yeah, they are. I bet you that's Lily's brother. No way. The daughter who stole Cosmog from me and the son who took my type. No, they're brother and sister. That's crazy. All I ever did was give you two all the love I had and all you did was betray me. You have no right to ask for my attention now. What? Daughter? Son? Wait. You all are a family? Perhaps once we were, sweet how, but those wretches beside you left me. Oh, what? Those wretches beside you left me. But it doesn't matter now. None of that matters now. I was able to open the ultra wormhole using just the gases we'd extracted from Cosmog when it was at Aether Paradise, wasn't I? Nebby! <laughs> but now I have Cosmog coming inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, how many ultra wormholes will I be able to open? How many sweet beasts will come to me then? Please stop. If Nebby isn't... If you will make it use too much of its power... You'd understand what will happen. Like when we ran away from the paradise. It couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much of its power, it will die. Oh, she's holding up that crate. Watch. I will open the ultra wormhole for you. Come to me, my sweet beasts. Can we not stop her in time? How can we save Nebby? Oh, there's some cool graphics. No, Nebby! <laughs> Is that jellyfish beast again? Darkness. I'm not that scared. They haven't really given me a lot of reason to be scared of these ultra wormholes. But I suppose a dark ominous cloud covering the entire world is probably a little scary. Ooh. Ooh, we got another one over there. And this is over uh, Maoli City, and that's over the Wayla Volcano Park, and that's over the gardens, and that's over... Uh, Melee City, and that one's over. I don't know. Oh, oh, one of the islands. I don't know. I'm gonna catch you all over Alola. You, ugh, must you be so noisy even inside there? What an annoying Pokemon. The only thing I need from you is power. But I will admit it, it looks like the power has served me well. There should be plenty of beautiful beasts appearing all around Alola as we speak. Look, on Akala and Pony, even on Mele Mele Island. <laughs> Gladian, though. That pose, Gladian, them hips. Ooh, Gladian, he a bad beast. Near Mele Mele Island's Mahalo Trail. What do we got? Do 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 just a oh man I wanted to sing wait this disturbance I feel Look at that beast Oh this one's a rare visitor You have come before the island kahuna Hell yeah You got a tapu here Did you come here as a guardian or just a battle? The other islands must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. As Kahuna this island, I, Hala, will support you. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, Hala, will support you. Because he's old, right? Oh my god, this is cool. Are they locked in an endless battle? Jer <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee. 
my sweet beast. Madame Perez, the experiment was a success, huh? Looks like it's time to catch this wicked ultra beast to beat down these annoying upstarts. You're right. Guzma, quiet those children for me. I don't want to hear from them again. Do not make me battle him for a third time. I'll stop the beast, he says, but... My partner Null was born to be a beast killer. How? you take Guzma. Geo, you take Lusamine. If we don't, Alola will be flooded with beasts. Geo, we have to get Nebi back. What a disappointment to think you're all so small-minded. You're going to startle my sweet beast. Geo, looks like I'll need to silence you first. Lusamine, you are going down, B. I hope my Pokemon were healed. I wonder. She got those heels, though. She got that bad dress. Aether President Lusamine. Five Pokemon. Please tell me my Pokemon were healed. Clefable and an Ultra Ball. This is going to be a real battle. We in it now, boys. Looks like they were healed. Yeah, it looks like they were healed. All right. Let's start things off right. Uh, I think... Do I think I can two-hit KO Clefable? Maybe, but let's put it to sleep first anyway. Ah, I missed it. Shoot. Metronome, so he's just going to pull a random move. Electric Terrain. I'm not mad about that. But I am going to try singing. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I forgot you can't. Mm. You can't put them... To oh, man, I messed that one up. You can't put Pokemon to sleep on Electric Terrain. Um, and I was going... She's setting up on me with Cosmic Power. So, I'm going to right away... Um, electric Terrain boosts the power of Electro-type attacks. Bugnitude could be a real... Real strong advocate for a defeat on this Clefable here. So, let's go into Bugnitude. Gonna metronome again. What are we gonna get this time? This is a fun battle, metronoming. Last resort, but it failed because you got other moves. Take that. Uh, spark will be my best move. Neutral. She got. She's up to plus two now. I'm at plus one with the power of the uh, the co the electric terrain. Yeah, that'll be a two hit K. Oh, oh yes. Mm. Get him. That paralysis. That's really lucky. Uh, the crit helped me put Clefable in a bad spot. And it fully paras to make sure that it misses out. Too bad I don't have Fell Stinger. Terrain returned to normal. Uh, we can finish this thing off just with another safe spark. Utilize that terrain to my advantage. That crit was, that crit was lucky. It blasted through two different... Um, defensive layers uh, but we got another miss magus we're gonna keep battling for now not sent not taking out bugnitude just yet in his moment of glory no he's gonna crunch this fool shadow ball i take those that's not even a two hit ko bugnitude's gonna oko you with this crunch Buh bye 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 you may hate me, but it ain't no lie. Bye, bye, bye. Bugnitude hitting that level 50. I don't even want Vika Volt anymore. I like Charge Bug. He a cute little guy. He like this. Melodic. Why, why mess with something good? Bugnitude has taken this team down single-handedly. Safeguard. I don't even want it. Actually, that works out in my favor because if you have, uh, what is it, Miracle Scale, I don't want to double your defense. Almost take that thing out in one fell swoop. Oh my god, she's got Flail. Thank god she has no attack stat whatsoever because that would have been like a base power 180 or whatever it gets up to. Something ridiculous. 150 maybe. Toxapex ding in that 45, McBro on the 47s. 
Beware, yes. Now let's get some other Pokemon up it. No! I hit mm, I hit B by accident. Uh so now I'm just gonna have to hard switch because I told you guys I was switching. I'm gonna send in McBro. That'll be fun. McBro's really weak defensively. I probably can't take two hits, but Beware's not fast. Take down. Ooh, he missed. Lucky me. <laughs> Let's go for a power up punch here. Womp. Super effective. That did so little damage. Oh my word. Oh my god. Beware is a monster. That did so little. That's crazy. Um, he's normal fighting. So. I mean, Lil P is the obvious answer. I'm going to try not to use Lil P, though, because it's too obvious. Just hitting him with that um, that moon blast. I'm just going to go into Decid Decidueye needs to get a little... Aw, baby doll eyes. That's cute. Priority attack drop. It's going to be quite annoying, actually. But I'll still be able to get off two attacks if he opts to switch. Oh, my God. Why is this doing so little damage? What is happening here? Beware is crazy. How come Beware was never this strong with me? Honestly, this is crazy. Um, what can we do? What more can I say? Let's go into Lil P now. So my attack's been dropped too low. It's not. There's not even any point anymore. Can hit me with those baby doll eyes. This thing, though, honestly, so defensive. But let's see if you're especially defensive. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is a decided no. We'll pee on that 5-4. Final Pokemon is Lilligant. Mmm. Incineroar. You're up, buddy. Womp womp. So sad to end with a Lilligant and just watch you get wrecked by a Fire Fang. No! Pedal dance, no! Bomp! You may hate me, but it ain't no lie. Bitty bye bye bye. How? How can you be so awful? Wow! Almost 20,000 Poke Yen on that one. Hmm. All I want is my precious beast. I don't care about any of the rest of you. Oh, he... He fading. He opening that ultra wormhole. No! The ultra wormhole is disappearing. Guzma, with me. We will catch the beast using the beast ball that we've developed here. Hmm, beast ball. Yes, ma'am. What? She is disappearing too? Mother! What is happening? Why is she flickering like this? Now she's like, pieces. Do you guys get my joke? Because she... She's saying like, pe like deuces, like she's out. Like, peace, but also pieces because she's like, getting split apart. That's a good joke. That's a good joke, Gio. Why? Nebby, are you alright? Question mark? Nebby. What is it? <gasps> Look at this cute little, <laughs> the cute little Nebby. <laughs> it 
changed forms and it's not moving. Hmm. Come on, let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. Well, that was eventful. That really was, that was a lot of story. We're 20 minutes into this episode. You're all unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. Aw, Wick, you cute little... Yeah, maybe. But there's still a ton we have to do. There's the President and Guzma, who both disappeared into that Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Cosmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even if she is... like that. Lucimine is still our mother. We can't just leave her in the beast world. We might have to reach other worlds. We might be able to reach other worlds if we had Alola's legendary Pokemon on our side. The people of Alola worship it, but I don't know if it's even real. Of course it is. After all, the beasts are real. I'm sure we can find it. We'll find the legendary Pokemon. Well, there was conveniently that little ruins that no one's... It's useless and there's nothing in there, except that everything will be fine. You're right. I'd thank both of you, Geo and you, Hao. Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I prepared a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. We'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll sleep here. It's the beds I once shared with my mother when I was small. Just one last time. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> That's creepy. Also, co-sleeping is dangerous. Remember that, boys and girls. When you have children of your own, co-sleeping is dangerous. Gra greatly, vastly increased risk of SIDS. Sudden infant, death, sudden infant death syndrome. Be very careful. Geo, Miss Lily is waiting outside if you're ready to meet her. I sure am, Wick. Feeling refreshed and ready for more pout? Let's head out and see what's waiting for us. All right, where am I going? It's a nice little area. Is there a Zygarde cell in here or anything? Looks like no. What's going on in here? Changing room? Hmm. Very cool. And I'm not going to talk to her. She got nothing. Uh, Got some sunlight here. We heading out? All right, then I guess we'll just make this a quick episode, and we'll end this here. Uh, on a on a nice little high note and that's gonna be the end of this episode and we'll see what is in store for the next episode are we gonna go through an ultra wormhole are we gonna catch a legendary pokemon who knows tune in next time and we'll find out as always my name is Jim Leader Geo you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time